Hello, everybody. It's Lisa here. I miss you guys all so much. I thought I'd start sending some videos to you while we, well, during this time when we have to be apart. So I want to say a special hi to all of my kiddos, to little Lou, and to Noemi, and to Elise, her big sister, and to Noah, and to Matisse, and Livia, his big sister, and also to my grandkids who might want to watch this video as well, to Jess and Eleanor and Calvin, and maybe even Tegan and Riley, if you want to hear a story that I'm about to read as well, you can tune in too, even though I know you're, you're awfully old for kitty stories. So here we go. Today, I want to read to you where the wild things are. Now, I first read this book or had this book read to me when I was a very little girl, about four or five years old. My mommy took me to the library to hear this brand new book. And this is what it was, Where the Wild Things Are. I have loved it ever since, and so have all of my children. So here we go, Where the Wild Things Are. Oh, also hi to Doreen and Maya Elise, who adore this book as well. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind, and another his mother called him wild thing and max said i'll eat you up so he was sent to bed without eating anything that very night in max's room a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all of their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Boom diddy boom diddy boom 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 diddy boom diddy boom 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 diddy boom diddy boom 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 diddy boom diddy boom diddy boom diddy boom 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 diddy boom diddy boom 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 diddy boom diddy boom 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 Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh no, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. But Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye.
and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. There you go, where the wild things are. It was nice reading a book to you all. I miss you all so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.